I'm Josh, and this is my sister Bella. We're so excited to be with you guys for yet another Saturday. Oh no, what's that sound? Do you guys know what this means? What does it mean? this part. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Yes. Oh no! What's that alarm? I can't see anything. I can't hear anything. I can't hear the alarm. Ah! But just as he who calls you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. First Peter 1, 16 through 16. We can see you guys again. We're back from our laboratory and we discovered something. Do you guys want to learn the phrase of the day? Okay, repeat after me. We have the antivirus. We have the antivirus. We have Jesus. We have Jesus. Great job. One more time. We have the antivirus. We have the antivirus. We have Jesus. We have Jesus. Oh no, the alarm again. No. We have the one more time, but this time with a lot of power. Are you ready? We have the antivirus. We have the antivirus. We have Jesus. We have Jesus. Woo! Great job. I found the antivirus. We have the antivirus. colors. A balloon! Look Josh, there's a message inside. Let's pop it to see what it is. Oh, oh it's a party. <laughs> it says, 
The color of the party is the key to holiness. It's the antivirus that cleanses us of all evil. I'll give you a hint. It's the color of the wind. Color of the wind? What color is the wind? But it's kind of clear what the color of the wind is. <laughs> Welcome to the transparent party. We'll give you guys 10 seconds to go find something transparent. Ready? Go! What'd you guys find? Write in the chat in the comments. Have you ever been walking and you didn't see a glass door and then all of a sudden, you hit the glass? Yeah, that really hurts. Has it ever happened to you guys? Just because you can't see something does not mean that it's not there or that it doesn't exist. We don't see the spiritual world with our physical eyes, but we know that it's real. And when we clothe ourselves in Jesus, although we can't see it with our eyes, we are putting on a super suit and it's super special. <gasps> Josh, what's that sound coming from? Oh, it's your pocket, it's ringing. Who is it? It's Grandpa! Grandpa! Hey, Bella and Josh. Hey, how do you like my holiness costume? Man, if I wear this, people will really think I'm I'm holy because I got a missionary shirt on. I got the typical long sleeve white shirt on. I'm dressed to really do something powerful for God. Well, let me explain why that's not true. Look how holy I am. I have the holy clothes on. This was what, this is what makes me special. I've got a, a special missionary shirt on. I've got a white collar. I am holy because you can see I'm holy. The Bible in First Peter chapter 1 verse 15, it says that we're to be holy even as God is holy. We have to it's not what we wear. I mean, there are places here in El Salvador where, if you don't go to church with a tie and long sleeve white shirt, you're not saved. They won't let you on the platform because you you don't have the outer appearance of holiness. The holiness is about having uh, the antivirus in our hearts that uh, we are living uh, in a relationship with God that uh, we're constantly asking God to clean our lives and our hearts so that so that he knows we're holy when we are are holy our lives are humble and repentant before God then we don't need special clothes we don't have to have a, a outward manifestation of holiness because God looks at our heart and when we are holy the way that God is holy, we will bring people to know Jesus Christ. They will sense something different about us. You know, this past week we had a child come to uh, our castle club and he was with his parents driving past the church and he said, mom and dad, there's the church you passed it. You have to go past it and go down and come back up around a circle and so he, he thought they were passing it um, and and he said you know they're the church with that has the two angels at the front door that are welcoming the people and this is the second time this child's eyes have been opened up and he has seen angels at, at the entrance of castle club uh, another child told his parents, I got to go to that church. That's the church I want to go to. And he came uh, because he saw the tents and and he came in and, and the very first time he had a vision, an open vision and saw Jesus. And and he won't leave church. He comes every Sunday to see his friend Jesus. And the, these are things that the holiness of God are drawn in by people who are true worshipers of God. And I just, I just want to say to you, you need to have 
your antivirus needs to be active. You need to have a, a, a transparent, humble life that people can look at you and see all the way through who you are to see Jesus in you. Grandpa, that was an amazing story. Thank you so much for calling us. We love you. Bye. Bye. Guys, it is so important to be holy in all that we do. You know, that reminds me of a Bible verse in 1 Peter 1, 15 through 16 that says, But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. Because Jesus is holy, we are to be holy in everything that we do. Michelle. Today we've been in the clear color party, transparent. But you know what? I have a problem here because I was going to try to see through this and I can't see anything. But you know what? I wanted to talk to you today about this. You know, when we are trying to connect with Jesus, when we try to pray, when we try to see Jesus, and we have so many things in our hearts, so many um, thoughts that are distracting and so many different things that are in our way, we need Jesus. And when we try to connect without giving those things to Jesus before, we need to have Jesus teach us how to pray. And I want to talk to you about the verse today. First Peter 1 15 through 16. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, be holy because I am holy. Wow, guys, that is big. Be holy because I am holy. Holiness 
is looking like God. Anything that would distract us, anything that would cause us to not look like God would be unholy. And we need Jesus to clean things out so that we can see clearly. And I know that God has so many things He wants to teach you. He has so many adventures that He wants to take you on. But we have to learn to be holy as He is holy. We need to think about things that would draw us closer to Jesus. And that our hearts would be able to be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. That we would be able to see in the supernatural, hear in the supernatural, and feel His presence. You know, we are talking about today having the antivirus, having the cure, and that is Jesus. Last week we talked about the key of identity. Remember? Being children of God. And today we're talking about the key of holiness. If we want to activate ourselves and walk in the supernatural as a child of God, we need to learn how to activate the key to holiness. And holiness is, is asking Jesus to purify us before Him. To say, God, I don't want to have any stains on my heart, on my conscience. God, I want you to purify me because I don't want to be only a little bit committed to you. I want to be 100% all in. And would we say, Jesus, activate me. God, I want to go through the fire of holiness. I want to look like you looked. I want to speak like you spoke. I want to see what you saw, God. And when we say, Jesus, help me to see clearly. Help me to be able to recognize that I have the antivirus. That I have Jesus, the answer to all problems. Something amazing begins to happen inside of us. Something begins to activate. Something inside us begins to come alive. And when we understand that we have the solution to a problem, a cure to all sickness, then we can see clearly and not like what I was showing you with my dirty window. We can see clearly 100% what Jesus sees. We can hear His voice 100%. And you know what, guys? God wants to take you on an amazing adventure. And we need to understand that key of identity and that key of holiness and to live like Jesus lived. He said, be holy as I am holy. Let's ask God to help us do that. Jesus, I thank you for the gift of holiness. God, I thank you for giving us in our hands a key to unlock, Lord Jesus, the mysteries of heaven. God, I pray that each one watching this video, your kids would understand the value that you have in them. The value that they are as your sons and your daughters. The masterpieces that have been born, Lord Jesus. And you are dreaming of, of everything that they're going to accomplish with their lives. God, I pray right now that they would understand as they use the key of identity, Lord Jesus. And the key of holiness, Lord Jesus. To open up doors in the supernatural and understand, Lord Jesus, what you want us to do. What, who you want us to be. God, I pray that you'll help us, Lord Jesus. To be holy as you are holy. To be your church, Lord, without stains. And that we, Lord Jesus, would come before you every day and say, Jesus, purify me. Jesus, purify my heart. Purify my mind. Help me be holy as you are holy. In your name we pray. Amen. Guys, we have the antivirus. We have the solution to all problems. And his name is Jesus. Guys, I know that God is going to do tremendous things in your lives. And as you step before Him, purifying your heart and your life, He's going to use you to accomplish a mission, a purpose. And as you grow closer to Him, He will draw closer to you. Be holy as He is holy. May God bless you. God loves you and so do I. Thanks for being a part of our Transparent Party! We had so much fun today. If you accepted Jesus today, we would love to hear your story. You can contact us at our social media or email cookusyoushow at gmail.com. Don't forget to comment down below with any transparent emoji. What's a transparent emoji? Uh, <laughs> just kidding! <laughs>
Bye. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. And share with all your friends. See you next week. Bye. Hey, wait, wait. Don't forget to download Cassie's show in action, the discipleship that goes with each episode. We want you to continue to operate in the supernatural and get closer to Jesus. And go to our Facebook, iCrowd Club Castillo Kids. Bye! <laughs>